It's time to go swimming everyone. Welcome back to Genshin Impact. Thank you for joining me today. I believe we are in some kind of flashback. Uh, so technically, I think Traveller and Pyman are kind of searching these ruins and we're going to find some kind of evidence or something that's going to help Navia. We're going to save the day on the trial. We are doing the Fontaine Archon quest. And uh, yeah, let's just see what we find in this place. What is that? Well, that is... Oh, party setup. Okay, party setup. I'm going to stick with this party. I think that's good enough for my liking. I mean, we, we shall see whether this is any good or not. And let's take him. Quiet actually, it feels like take it's it been ages since I've actually done any combat. That can't be entirely true, but it feels like it's been a while. I didn't even do my shield, never mind. I didn't need to. What are we doing here? What is this doing? The floor is going up. Okay. Is it because of this mechanism in the middle? Yeah. That guy really so. prepared a lot of stuff for this place. Okay, chest. I'll take that. What is this place exactly? Paimon thinks we need to go up, but Paimon doesn't see a way. Let's take a look around. Maybe we'll find a hidden mechanism that'll show us the way up. Yeah, probably. I would say we may need to go under the water again. Let's just have a little look around. Yeah, we go down the water. Dive down. Uh, oh, I forgot what these guys do. They, these, they do something, don't they? I can't remember what they do. Okay, oh yeah, that's right. We need to do something with them, right? We, we grab them. I don't remember. It's been so long since I did the tutorials. I'm going to have to go and check them. What is it we have to do? Oh no, we've got, we've got something. And then we go there. No? Oh yeah, I did it. Okay, so I'm not sure what I did differently. But uh, I tried it again, and it worked. So we, we managed to smash open the uh, the wall. I really should refresh my memory on the uh, tutorials on how this place works, but ah, we're getting through it. All right, what is this thing here? Let's go up. Okay, well, there's the mechanism. That's going to start the uh, floor rising. I'm draining the water, doing one of the two. Right, raising the water, okay. Oh, that means we'll be able to then swim up higher. Is that high enough though? Alright. But this is still a ways away from where we need to go. Okay, well, there must be more mechanisms about them, Pyman. Let's see if we can find them. Checking there's nothing else around. Okay, here's some things. Let's take them. Your grand finale. Spectacular. The field is lit. More things appearing. We can take them though. Down, awesome. Take the chest, and what have we got now? There must be more mechanisms about. Just kind of look around here. Is that where we came from? That's where we came from. So it's round this way. Ah, there it is. So that'll raise the water up even higher, and then we can swim up to the top. Let's go then. So yeah, I wonder where this is taking us. So we've gone up and now we have to go back down again. Okay, 
goods floating around here. Oh, okay, I see a chest. Let's go for that. Or another mechanism. Just double check out here. What was out here? Nothing. Okay. Do the mechanism. That's about to open up something. So I push up this door. Nice. It's very imposing. A couple of guard mechs or something of that nature. Let's take them down. Busted. Game's up. Time's over. Change. Where'd that go? They keep the bully me. Can't handle your drink. Huh. Strike is one. And take them down. Should be pretty quick. One's got to do the shield. Nope, take them down. And the other one. Gah, no hassle. No hassle at all. Hey, this is a mysterious place. I wonder what it would take to build something like this. It would take a long time. Though, as expected, the mastermind isn't here. If I'm not mistaken, he's being charged by Navi as we speak. Huh, that's right. Then let's hurry up and find some evidence so we can get back to the Opera House and help Navia. Yeah, I think we're going to burst in right at the end there to save the day, just as Navia's about to lose everything. Uh, I will examine lots of stuff. What's all this? Oh, huh, it's a bunch of really cute things. Cute things. Pink accessories, a hair tie. I can be the belongings of the missing women, could they? There's a name too. Oh, Paimon sees it too, but why are all these cute things labeled with different girls' names? They probably belong to the victims. Huh? You mean the girls from the serial disappearances? They were brought here? Maybe. And then they were turned into water. Oh, we've just been swimming through them. Yeah, that's pretty horrific. Okay, you discovered objects within the containers labelled with the names of those who own them within the depths of the HQ. The names here must have something to do with the victims to see your disappearance case. This might be proof that this was their final stop. Ooh, that's nasty. Alright, where else can we find them? More stuff. Bottles. And so many bottles of ingredients that probably just contain the waters of the primordial sea. There are so many. Hmm. Mixing in progress. Ready to drink. Stock sample? Huh. They've also got all the synth pretty clearly labeled. Whoa, there's even fruit flavored synth? Go marketing it to the kids. Uh, well, that definitely proves that this is where they produce synth. Okay, synth, a popular uh, potion circulating quite widely. This gives the drinker a very pleasant experience for a short time, but its side effects are equally strong. The producer uses these special characteristics to earn a massive profit from its trade. And that was just the bottles there. Done that. What else have we got? Experiment table. What's this over here? Looks like some kind of place for research. Experiment number 16 aims to verify Jacob Ingold's research conclusions on the Primordial Sea and use his theory as a foundation to achieve a breakthrough. The experiment was a failure. No individual managed to resurface from the water from the Primordial Sea. Female specimens 22, 23, and 24 were dissolved! Calm down, Paimon. Sorry, Traveler. Paimon will try her best. It's just that Paimon's never read something so scary before. How could someone write something that terrible in such a matter-of-fact tone? That's the evil scientist for you. You read the rest. Paimon's too scared to keep going. The goal of the researcher is to save his lover, a woman called 
same year he was dissolved. So that's why he did all of these experiments. But did he really think he'd be able to find a way just by dissolving people over and over? That's just insane! There's another name here. Bashir. Huh? Isn't that the name you heard by the fountain? Paimon thought he was an eyewitness in the serial disappearances case. No, he is the researcher. Oh, he's been trying to get her back. <sighs> you mean Vache is the one who did all of these... Uh, experiments? That's probably why he's not been found. Uh, yes, he signed off on a bunch of the experiment reports. The voice I heard is probably from the from the fountain. It was probably uh, Vignier. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that one right. So that's it. Vache was no victim, but personally took his lover and... No, that's not it either. If that's the case, why would he want people to resurface from the water? There must be more to this than meets the eye. In any case, Paimon will write it all down. Okay, experiment number 16 aims to verify Jacob Ingle's research. Yeah, we read that. Okay, yeah, so there are many more records like these. Okay. This is all horrific stuff. Okay, what's over here? Bookshelf. Let's see what's written here. Nothing escapes Detective Paimon's eyes. Hmm. Callus. Navia's father. Oh, this seems to be an investigation report on him. It's probably related to his case and Jacques' case. Yeah, that, that confirms what we, we suspected. This should prove the existence of the third person, right? Hopefully. Is there anything else? Hmm. We still have not determined the exact content of the key information Callus has passed on to certain members of his organization. The old dog's a real menace to deal with. Even if he abides by the promise he's made to us, he will still have the upper hand. He can act whenever he wants to make our lives miserable. The only option left is to remove him from the picture entirely. I concur. Let's send someone to kill him. He won't declare war as long as we don't touch Navia. Oh, seems like we've got a bunch of correspondence between the higher-ups. Bit of a mistake for them to kind of leave that, that kind of um, correspondence lying around, though. Uh, they planned this well in advance. They're all just so evil! Mm. Okay, clues concerning the callous case that were found inside the bookshelf. The mastermind did not believe that Jacques would do the deed, and thus sent the third party to ensure Callus' death. The content that followed also defined the culprit's motive to some extent. Okay, what else? Oh, there's this thing. Uh, the pool. Does this really dissolve oh, people? Look! There's an important looking basin over here! And it's full of water! Yeah, that must be the water from the primordial sea. That means this is where they make all the synth! And that special water is the main ingredient! If you dilute it with normal water, you'll get synth! But the pure stuff can dissolve a human! Paima will take notes on this incriminating evidence! Okay, the pool surrounding the HQ is filled with water from the primordial sea. The mastermind can use this to create synth and directly use it to dissolve people. Hmm. We've looked at almost everything here and it seems like our theories were spot on. But... Who really is this Vache? Yeah. We haven't found anything that reveals his true identity. It wouldn't be Marcel, would it? No wonder even Nervalette wasn't able to find anything. Whoever it is probably destroyed everything to do with that name a long time ago. That way, even if we bring all this back to the opera, we won't be able to identify the true culprit. Mm, clever, but maybe not clever enough. Let's look again. Sure thing. Paimon won't admit defeat to this guy either. Okay. Um, more clues. What are we missing then? We looked over there. Oh, hold on. Check everything carefully. 
We'll find something for sure. After some time. Pyron, I found it. Oh, really? What Pyron see? Vimier. Isn't that Vashe's lover's name? Then you found her diary. Ooh. Let's see. Aw, it's just a normal diary chronicling their love story. She was so sweet, too. Oh, Pyron feels even worse for her now. Let's take a look at this page. She made a list of baby names. Okay, can't read that. So many! A whole page is worth! But they're all crossed out. Was she unhappy with all of them? The final name she decided on was... Marcel. Oh. Wait, but Marcel's pretty old. Oh. <gasps> Has this case been going on for so long that he's Fache and Venier's grown son? Either, yeah, po I mean, possibly, but either that or he is Fache, which I said a moment ago. Okay, well, I'll figure it out. Let's go, Paimon. Uh, hey! <laughs> Paimon still hasn't figured it out yet. Yeah, you'll find out, along with the rest of us. A notebook belonging to a lady named Venier. She records many stories of her time with her lover, Fache. On one of those pages, he prepared many names for the future child, and the name she settled on in the end was Marcel. After obtaining the final piece of key evidence, you race back to the Opera Epicles. And whose image do you see, Marcel? Is it a man named Vache? <laughs> oh, so you do know that name. I've merely surprised you'd suddenly say the name of someone I've never even heard of. Yeah, so this is kind of where we left it last time out. I was waiting for you to say that. Nadia, we're back! Uh, as expected of my partner, I just knew you'd return in the nick of time. Oh, the audience would love that. Just how often do you intend to flout the rules of this court? It's all right, Monsieur Nervalet. Given their confidence, I expect they've found the crucial evidence. Hmm, she's on her side again. Yeah, you say you never heard of Bashir. Uh, okay, right, we need to pre present the evidence. So, what do we want to do? What have we got? The investigation report, his notebook, experimental records. Probably this, then. With Marcel, yeah. But the truth of it, Marcel, is that you've always been Vache. She speaks. Huh? We've investigated your lair. We already know everything. After your lover, Venier, was dissolved, you kept abducting young women to experiment on the hopes of bringing her back to you. You even created Marcel as a new identity and destroyed all records of your past as Vache. So that's it. Even the villains in opera performances rarely go that far. And with that, Marcel's motive has now been established. This information regarding your past also dismantles your prior timing defense. Well, Marcel, do you know where you went wrong? You fixated your gaze on the lover that passed away, instead of paying attention to the living people around you. So, you never noticed how we changed, or how we grew as individuals. You also never understood Boss's real expectations for his daughter. Or our determination to see things through. Your determination? <laughs> Mr. Marcel. Please speak up now if you would like to defend yourself. Otherwise, the trial will move on to the next stage. Do you think... Do you really think I wanted to do any of this? Pay attention to you? <laughs> what for? Have you ever paid attention to me? 
ever empathize with my pain? Ever known how it feels to watch the love of your life dissolve right in front of your eyes? No one helped me. No one even believed me. All those decades ago, even the officers from the Maison Guardianage were laughing at me. And yet you inflict that kind of pain on countless other families. I have no empathy for people like that. They said there's no way a human being can turn into water. So I must have gone mad from grief. Vinyar's death was brushed away by all of you as if it didn't matter at all. Well, now you know, don't you? Ha! Well, it's too late now. All those who were dissolved are gone forever. You only have yourselves to blame. You set up this ornate opera house in pursuit of your so-called justice. Your beloved drama. While turning a blind eye to the suffering of the people. Vinyar is dead. We promised each other that we would always be together. Wherever she goes, I will follow. But I'm not from this blasted place. So I can't be dissolved. No matter what I do. Oh, what twist. Hey, is that water from the primordial sea that he's drinking? I can't dissolve. Can't dissolve. Can't dissolve. <laughs> do you all see? I can't go. I can't follow. So if I can't go where she is, what choice do I have but to try to bring her back? I did all of that, and in the end, that accursed callus still got the better of me. I spent my entire life living on pins and needles, only to get stabbed by his idiot daughter at the very end. <laughs> the suspect is exhibiting signs of mental distress. Guards, please restrain him. Don't touch me! Don't anybody come near me! I still need to save Vignere! Her promise! We made a promise! You really think she'd want you after this? Vignere! Vignere! Please, Vignere! Don't think badly of me! All I want to do is fulfill our promise! At this point, the verdict of this trial is clear. With Mr. Marcel's conviction, the charges against Mr. Tartaglia no longer have any basis. Fine by me. I was in a bad mood, but after a show like that, I'm actually feeling pretty good. Traveler, please submit all the evidence you have collected to the guards, so that I might review and summarize the truth behind the serial disappearances case. We will have proceeds to review and compile all the, the evidence. The man now known as Marcel was originally named Varche, and worked as an adventurer with his partner and lover, Vignere. During an underwater expedition, Vinier accidentally came into contact with water from the Primordial Sea and was dissolved in front of Varche as a result. I mean, yeah, that would be horrific. Varche learned of the Primordial Water's existence through the work of others and began to kidnap young women for research with the goal of discovering a method to restore Vinier back to life. To cover his tracks, he invented the new alias of Marcel, and began to operate a business in Poisson. During the course of his research, Marche discovered that a diluted concoction of water from the Primordial Sea can induce feelings of euphoria, and began to manufacture and market synth. However, as he accumulated wealth to fund his continued research and expanded the scope, he came into conflict with Spina di Rasula. After exchanging blows with Spina di Rasula for many years, Varche decided to assassinate their president, Callus, at a banquet. Although the assassination did not go as Varche expected, he was able to turn Callus into the murder suspect by dissolving the assassin he sent to the scene. And just recently, Varche attempted to frame Linny as the culprit of the serial disappearances case using a similar method. However, his attempt to frame Linny failed, and the power of water from the primordial sea became public knowledge. This case also exposed enough of Varche's machinations that he was eventually successfully charged in court. Thus concludes the enigmatic history of the serial disappearances case, with the truth revealed to all. <laughs> it's rather a lackluster applause there. Come on, I think I deserve more than that.
The Oratrice will now deliver the final verdict regarding the charges against Mr. Vache. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, Mr. Varche is guilty. Did you expect anything else, Marcel? Guards! Take Varche away. Do you be careful, Good. he's got a bunch it's of primordial seawater on him. You could easily dissolve the guards and get away. They didn't they didn't really take much steps to kind of Secure, do they? Uh, with that, the serial disappearances case is over now. We really just witnessed history. Who would have thought the true culprit would be such a polite and well spoken guy? Yippee! We helped Navia bring the bad guy to justice! He's hurt so many innocent people and now he's finally getting what he deserves! Huh? Are you okay? Navia. <sighs> It's got to be a. What, what would you be feeling in this kind of state? A sense of closure, of release. I mean, all sorts of emotions. Demoiselle, you were absolutely brilliant. The day our late boss had always hoped for has finally come. You can rest easy now, knowing justice has been served. Yeah. Yeah. It's finally over. <sighs> It's all thanks to you guys, and my partner. <sighs> See, Papa? Spina di Rosula still doing well with me at the helm. Well now, hasn't this been a most delicious piece of drama? The villain has been caught, justice has been served, past wrongs have been righted, and it's a big ol' happy ending. Since it's been such a great show, I'll just let the false accusations against me slide. Either way, I've still got some business to attend to, so, if you'll excuse me... Please wait just one moment, Mr. Tartaglia. Ugh, oh, what now? None of this has anything to do with me. According to court protocol, since this trial was initiated due to a charge against you, a verdict must also be made regarding the initial charge before the trial can conclude. Oh, come on. Is this really necessary? Haven't you already caught the real criminal? Isn't it time for side characters like me to exit stage left? Please respect the laws of Fontaine. This has always been the rule. All right, all right, but this sure is a lot of hassle. All I need to do is stand over there, right? Let's just get this over with. Okay, I feel like there's going to be a twist coming here. Through evidence presented in the public trial that was just held, it has been established that Mr. Tartaglia has no direct connection to the serial disappearances case. The guilty party has been identified, and thus, it is logical to suppose Mr. Tartaglia is innocent of the charges. We now turn to the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal to render the final verdict on the charges. Oh, why do I feel like this is going to call him guilty anyway? <laughs> According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, Mr. Tartaglia is... guilty. Yeah, I knew it. But why? What's he got the of? What? Hey, hey! That's not funny! Didn't you just say I'm supposed to be innocent? What's with this verdict? Is your justice machine malfunctioning? Huh? This has never happened before. The Oratrice actually returned a different verdict from the Chief Justice. I mean, have you ever heard of an innocent Fatui Harbinger? I mean, that's fair. Do you think the Oratrice might have just convicted him on general principle? Uh, yeah, possible. It seems like it's going against the uh, the spirit of the thing, but maybe. But weren't the charges about the serial disappearances case? No matter what else he's guilty of, it shouldn't affect the verdict in this case, right? Yeah, that should be right. Charles has been declared guilty by Oratrice. Just what's going on here? The judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal is, by law, the final verdict of the court. We must accept the guilty verdict. Guards, please take the suspect into custody per court protocol. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to take that line down, is it? So this is how justice is done in Fontaine. 
What a joke. <laughs> You've got your rules. Well, I've got mine too! I must say, it is a pleasure to watch the man work. You can see the that work as well. I am sorry. Oh wow. If you have been wronged, we will find the truth. But the rules of the court must be upheld. You just took him down just like that. Oh that gives me chills. Oh wow. This is also the first time I've encountered such a situation. However, according to the rules established at the conception of Fontaine's court system, the Oratrice's judgment is the final verdict of the court. All I do is follow court procedure. As for why the Oratrice arrived at the conclusion it did, you should probably ask someone more knowledgeable than me. If even the Chief Justice doesn't know, then we have no choice but to ask the Archon herself. Looking at me, I had nothing to do with it. I, I don't know what happened there either. Hey, stop staring at me! Oh, she's very uncomfortable. What does Lady Farina mean by that? She says she has no idea either, but that's impossible. Didn't she create the Oratrice herself? Yeah. So are the verdicts reliable or not? Can results like this really be called justice? <sighs> <clears throat> My dearest citizens, did you really think we'd allow an incorrect verdict to be handed out in this court? Did you really believe that the judgment could be mistaken or be the result of some sort of random mishap? Uh, she can start digging herself into a hole. Don't tell me. You thought even I had been blindsided by the Oratrice's results. Well, she's going to double down on this and see. But the way she looked just now... It was pretty obvious she had no idea what was going on. Yeah. However, given the state of things, I shall give you an explanation. Everything that just took place, including my supposed shock and bafflement, was a part of an elaborate performance, with every action meant to stir up drama and excitement. Oh, that's a pretty poor explanation, Farina. <laughs> that's, that's not good enough. And... <laughs> Of course, for every performance, there is a script. Everything has unfolded exactly as I expected from the very beginning. As the embodiment of the very concept of justice, the Oratrice shall never render an arbitrary judgment. If you thought Child had nothing to do with the serial disappearances case, it is only because you've been blinded by the superficial appearance of innocence. Everything he's done, not to mention the danger he poses, are beyond ordinary comprehension and completely unforgivable! All shall be revealed in time. You will come to understand my noble intentions, as well as the absolute correctness of the Oratrice's verdict. <laughs> oh, she needs to be very confident in this. Because she's wrong, and I'm pretty sure she is wrong. I can't imagine things are going to go very well for her. Now, having said that, although I hate to leave things hanging in suspense, it is now time for this performance to end. As the lead actress, I shall be the first to take my leave. Yeah. She just wants to get out there as quickly as possible. So she chose to make her escape after all, did she? So you're saying we shouldn't put much stock into what she just said? Uh, no, I didn't believe a word of it. Hmm. 
she probably just put on that performance to save face. As for the truth, it's unlikely that she actually has any idea. Well, let's pull the rug out from under her. However, please be assured that I will continue to investigate this case in a personal capacity. Just as I promised, if the judgment has been incorrect, we will do our utmost to clear his name. Okay, I do like Nivellet. He seems um, a man to be trusted. Alright. Even though we feel pretty badly for him, we'll take your word for it for now. After all, he's done plenty of bad stuff. So he should have known he'd go to prison someday, right? Wow. Okay. Well, that was that was that was amazing. I thoroughly enjoyed that one. Um Okay, we need to leave the Opera House, but I think we will leave it here for now. We will leave the Opera House in the next one. Thank you for watching today. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. be very interested to hear any theories about, obviously, a lot of you watching probably already know this. Probably have been through it yourself, so um, obviously no spoilers, but... Oh, yeah, that's fun. Okay, I will see you very soon. Goodbye.